Hi friends, I am doing a video on Heteroscodra maculata, an African baboon tarantula tonight. But before that, I wanted to give a very special shout out to a few friends from the school I work at. One is Luis Monroy, who is just above and beyond excellent student. And the other one is my very special, special friend, Aram Garcia. He is an avid tarantula fan. He just went out of town for Thanksgiving and he came back and he brought me this little tarantula made by American Legacy. This is the Southwest Wildlife Collection and it came with this little tag describing the tarantula as a large hairy spider found in the desert of the Southwest. They are peaceful, silent creatures and unless provoked are harmless to humans in spite of their scary appearance. Kudos to American Legacy for actually putting some accurate information out there and thank you so much to Luis and Aaron for being rock stars at school. Now, let's get to the HMAX. This is a baby HMAC. This is one of the ones I reproduced this summer, early fall. This is one of Morgan's offspring. They're just cute little buggers and they are fast as lightning. It's really exciting to rehouse over 700 of these or so. Boys and girls, I would not recommend holding this species at home. This is one of my adult female Heteroscodra maculata. This is Morgan. She is one of the mothers that just produced egg sacs this fall. She's quite lovely. This is an old world species. They are boreal. It's an African baboon. They usually reach adulthood within about three years. They often grow to about four and a half to six inches. They're a medium sized species. However, they do have very thick rear legs. A lot of people call these the Togo starburst baboon. Uh, that's an area on the west coast of Africa. This is a defensive species. They're quite nervous and are famous for being erratic. They do not possess urticating hairs because they are an old world species and actually tend to flee before they bite. However, I would prefer not to be bitten by this species. Females often cannibalize during mating. These ladies went through several males and they tend to reproduce about 75 to 150 slings per sack although both of my breeding females their numbers have been high each time they've reproduced so that's been really exciting for me you can see they've got this speckling on them which mimics tree bark being an arboreal species they're perfectly camouflaged hanging out in the trees. Whew. That was an adventure. So that was Heteroscodra maculata or HMAC to some of you. Hope you guys enjoyed these wild beauties and I will see you guys soon.